morning everybody welcome to the kitchen today we're going to make pumpkin cheesecake so thanksgiving is coming up and we want to have something that is a perfect dessert for our thanksgiving meal in case you don't like pumpkin pie this alternative is absolutely wonderful so pumpkin cheesecake is great and i used to serve this on our sunday buffet table many years ago at the restaurant and it was a crowd pleaser so we are have uh two pounds of cream cheese 11 ounces of sugar, ground cinnamon, ground allspice, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, ground ginger, our vanilla extract, one pound of pumpkin puree, which is more than this can. So luckily I have another one that I can open. And then our five eggs. So we already have those. Now I have the scale, so we're gonna measure out our ingredients. We need 11 ounces of sugar. And then we're gonna soften the cream cheese. It can sit out at room temperature for a while, and then we can put it in the stand mixer and mix it all together. So I'll finish getting all my ingredients measured, getting our mise en place done, and then I'll show you how to make it. So here we have the cream cheese already softened in the mixer, and then we're gonna start adding in our other ingredients. We have our eggs, all of our seasonings, the sugar, vanilla, and our pumpkin. And also, here are our gingerbread we just, this was the scraps from our Nigerian spice gingerbread with leftovers. So we rolled out the scraps and then we just cut random pieces, bake them, and then what we'll do is we'll crumble these up and this will be the base of our cheesecake. So the first thing we're gonna add is our granulated sugar. Just dump that all in and then we'll paddle it until it's completely combined, scrape it down the sides with our spatula and then we are gonna add in all of our seasoning. So while that's mixing, we're just gonna put them all together. Our nutmeg, our cloves, ginger, cinnamon. So our cheesecake is gonna taste absolutely wonderful with all these spices. And it'll taste just like a pumpkin pie because these are the normal spices that you put in pumpkin pie. So once this is all mixed, I'm gonna add this. Then we're gonna add in our vanilla. So here we've added the vanilla and the spices you can see. And now we're gonna add in our pumpkin. We're gonna add the eggs last. And before we add the eggs, we're gonna whisk them up and then add them. Once we do add the eggs, we do not want to over mix this at all. If you over mix it, you're gonna make your eggs light and fluffy. And then the end result is that your cheesecake will be light and fluffy. If you do want it that way, that's great, but I prefer a dense, smooth cheesecake. So once the eggs are added, I'm not gonna mix it and mix it and mix it. I want it only mixed just in and combined. So I will mix these up first with the whisk and then we'll add them in after I get all of the pumpkin incorporated. All right, so there we have it mixed in and now we're gonna, I whisk the eggs broke them all up and I'm gonna add it in and then just just mix it in so that way we do not get fluffy eggs in our cheesecake. Okay, so our batter is ready and we're gonna put it into this baking dish. It's like a lasagna pan, it's 13 by nine. And we want to put a layer though of our crust. So we're gonna make our crust from gingerbread. This is our leftover gingerbread. We rolled it out, cut it into random pieces, baked it, and now we're gonna crush them. So I find it's easiest to put them in a Ziploc bag and then just break it up with my rolling pin. So <laughs> this helps get out any aggression you might have. And then I'm gonna make a really loud noise. I'm gonna uh, stop recording, crush that all, and then we're gonna add in some butter and brown sugar, make our crust, and press it into the bottom of our pan. Here's our pumpkin cheesecake gingerbread crust recipe. So 14 ounces of gingerbread crumbs, five ounces of light brown sugar, five ounces of melted butter. And here are the crumbs that we made from our baked gingerbread. We just smashed it repeatedly with the rolling cinnamon pin until we got this very nice fine crumb. So all we need to do is now add in our brown sugar and our melted butter. And then we're gonna put it into our baking dish. 
I'm gonna stir this all up together first to make sure I break up all the lumps of the brown sugar. Once the brown sugar is mixed in, we're then gonna add in our melted butter and just stir that together. So I'm gonna spray this with some non-stick cooking spray. And then I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. And I'm gonna line it crisscross so that way I'll be able to pull out the cheesecake. All right, so here we have our pan lined with the parchment paper and I folded it so it's strong and it's overhanging the edges so that way we can just lift it out of the pan when it's done. All right, so now I'm just gonna dump in our crust and then we're gonna spread it out evenly and pack it in. Pressing down, you can use your fingers, you can use an offset spatula to press it down, you can use the back of a spoon, anything that works well. Here's the finished crust, it's been pressed down and now we're just gonna add in the filling. Here's the pumpkin cheesecake, we got this out of the oven. Um, you can tell when it's done because it should be firm, it should really not jiggle anymore. The other thing is, is that uh, especially if you start to see this cracking, then you know it's definitely done. Plus, of course, we've got some coloring. Unfortunately, the oven is um, not calibrated very well, so there are very bad hot spots in the oven. And despite rotating it, I still got a uh, extra dark color on this part, which is fine, you know. Uh, but if I was serving this in a bakery, I would want it all the same color. Here's our finished cheesecake. And now we're gonna unmold it. So we just, because we have the parchment paper here, it's very simple. We're gonna just pull up the pieces of parchment paper and that will help remove it. All right, that's the simplest that. And then you just need to peel the parchment paper off. We're gonna put it on the cutting board and then we're gonna start to cut small squares so we can serve it to our students. So I need to get quite a few, so I'm just gonna do small one and a half inch squares. So I'll use the ruler to score it, and then I'll cut it with a chef's knife. Okay. Here we have our finished pumpkin cheesecake with some pecans on top. You could also garnish it with some <clears throat> whipped cream would probably be really good with some maybe nutmeg on it. As you can see, a nice layer of the ginger bread crust, and very good. Uh, it's a picture from one of my students. They made turkey for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna hand them out. I cut small pieces because I have to hand them out to quite a few high schoolers. But of course, when you're at home, cut a much larger piece. It is quite delicious. You do want a big piece of it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And we'll make it Here's home. our recipe for our pumpkin cheesecake. Two pounds of cream cheese, 11 ounces of sugar, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground almond, allspice, half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one pound of pumpkin puree, and five eggs. Our crust we made out of freshly made gingerbread, and that was 14 ounces of gingerbread crumbs, five ounces of light brown sugar, five ounces of melted butter, and that was enough to fit a <clears throat> lasagna size pan, 13 by nine, and we got all of these, so we're gonna hand these. That was enough crust for this size pan. So if you're gonna do a eight inch or a 10 inch round, you would probably be able to get two out of this recipe, okay? So if you make it at home, this would yield probably two 10 or 8 inch round cake pans. Thank you, take care, hope you enjoyed and we'll make this up. For more recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Loves YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.